Our next segment features action from the Reading Fairground Speedway. Here we see Chris Economaki conducting an interview with Dwayne Carter. Hometown favorite Tommy Hinnerschitz is seen giving a wave to the fans. The seven-time Eastern Sprint Car champion prepares for the race. His popularity and victories would never be matched. Paul Russo and Johnny Thompson are also some of the favorites in today's race. Excitement mounts as Judd Larson invades the Reading Fairgrounds with a new track record in time trials. The 23-second lap would finally be reached. California driver Dale Van Johnson hangs it all out on the outside to set second fast time. The feature starts as excitement mounts in the first turn. It's Tommy Hinnerschitz up high in the Miracle Power Special as he moves to the outside. In a daring move, he sweeps around Van Johnson and Judd Larson to win the feature event. Here's Tommy in victory lane with runner-up Judd Larson. Recently, we had a chance to meet with Tommy and talk with him in his home in Ole, Pennsylvania. The Miracle Power Special number two, the car that carried Tommy Hinnerschitz to multiple driving titles and many feature victories. I'm standing here with the car, the Miracle Power number two, and the great driver that sat behind the wheel, Tommy Hinnerschitz. Tommy, how old were you when you got your very first driving assignment? Well, the very first time I ever drove was in a Model T race at, in uh, uh, Reading, Pennsylvania at the Reading Fair. And... Uh, uh, well, I guess I was around 17, 18 years old. I'm not sh exactly sure anymore. Who was the gentleman you drove for in that very first assignment, and was he any influence on your driving career? Well, I was driving for myself. I bought the Model T for $25 and 175 with it in, in the Model T race. So uh, that was really the start of my racing, although I used to go to Reading uh, to see some of the, the, the great drivers of the late 20s and so forth, and uh, I decided that's what I wanted to do. This car here in particular, the Miracle Power Special, um, any of your favorite tracks that you like to run on with this vehicle that ran, uh, the car seemed to hook up particularly better than other speedways, tracks you didn't particularly like to run at with this vehicle? Well, of course, Reading had to be my uh, favorite track. Williams Grove was very close to it. Uh, there was quite a few other tracks that I liked, and of course there was a lot of them I disliked. You'd take Trenton. Uh, Trenton, New Jersey was always so darn uh, uh, rough and dirty and everything like that, and it was one of the hardest tracks on equipment of any of the races, uh, race tracks that we run on. Uh, how many championships did you actually win with this car here? Well, with this car here, I'm not, I'm not positive. I think it was about, uh, I, I believe around three f with this particular car. Located directly behind me is the garage in which most of the preparation was completed that carried the Miracle Power Special Number 2 to its career victories along with Tommy Hinnerschitt sitting in the cockpit. It's been some 11 years since this car seen competition and almost 26 years since Tommy Hinnerschitt has strapped in behind the wheel of this vehicle, but here he is again looking like he's ready to go back out onto the speedway again and improve on those 103 career victories that Tommy already has to his credit.